Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Revit Off-Track textile jacket. The main clue to the Revit Off-Track's purpose is in its name. It's a textile touring jacket that's designed to let you head off the beaten track if that's what you want to do. It's a textile jacket with a removable waterproof liner and separate thermal liner and there's also a good amount of venting so it covers a wide range of weather conditions. The outer is made from 600 denier polyester with reinforcements at the shoulders and the elbows and sections of mesh at the front and the rear of the shoulders here. These are the first and the most obvious vented sections but there are also vent panels. There are two on the chest undoing this zip here and releasing two press studs underneath this flap allows this to be folded back under here, secured on this press stud, and then popped away there. Once those are folded back and inside, that gives you two decent sized panels here and here for air to flow through to the inside. The other vents are here at the cuff section. They have two-way zips, so they can be opened and the cuff at the bottom can still be undone, but you've got this vent open here to bring in some air at the base of the arm. Because the waterproof membrane on this jacket is removable, on really hot days, these vents will then be able to get a much more direct passage of air through to your body on the inside. On top of that, there are fit adjusters at the arms and the waist where you've got twin adjustment belts. Normally it's a single here, but this jacket has twin belts. Additionally, there's a drawstring around the base hem that allows you to pull it tight and get a better seal around the bottom. The main fastener is a chunky zip with a flap behind it that stops any chilly air that gets past the teeth of the zip reaching your body and the collar fastener operates on a press stud but the base plate position here can be tightened or slackened to suit your preference and there are five positions there to fine tune that fit and this loop here also secures back against here on that hook if that's something you want to give you a bit more air or a little bit more room around the neck. The cuffs on this jacket are quite an effective design there's a long velcro strap around the back of the cuff that helps get the right tension around the wrist and then the zip and a short velcro band on the front here just do the bit that fastens it to keep it in place i've had winter gloves both inside this cuff and over the top of it so i think they'll suit whichever preference you have whether that's to wear your gloves inside the jacket or over the top Pocket-wise, on the outside of this jacket, there are three. There are two water-resistant pockets here at the waist. Although one thing to note, they're stitched at the sides, so you can't use them as hand warmer pockets when you're off the bike. And then there's an additional pocket at the lower back. Moving to the inside of the jacket, there's that removable waterproof membrane that I've already spoken about, and that's Revit's own Hydrotex liner. A full sleeve thermal liner attaches inside that waterproof membrane and that gives you another level of weather protection. There are three pockets on the inside of this jacket. There's a Napoleon pocket at the chest and there are two by the waist, round about the same position that you've got on the exterior of the jacket here. The armour for this off-track jacket is substantial stuff. It's Revit's own Seasoft armour and it meets the higher level two of the CE standard. It's also been approved in two optional tests to show it works in extreme cold and extreme heat and it's not particularly common for armour to pass both of those tests. There's no back protector standard with this jacket but there is a pocket for one and there's also provision for impact protection at the chest. You undo the velcro that secures the storage pockets that sit behind here and that reveals an opening for the armour pockets above so it sits in the pocket around about the same area as the vents here. There are twin connecting zips on the inside to attach to trousers and the matching off-track trousers are available costing £249.99 a pair. They come in three different leg lengths which is always helpful when you're looking for the right fit and you want the armour to be in the right place particularly on an adventure touring suit. There are links in the description for this video that go to the trousers as well as to the chest and the back protector inserts. The off-track jacket is currently £339.99, which means the complete suit with trousers comes in just under £600. That's around the same price as you'd pay for just the jacket from some other brand's adventure kit. Customer reviews are thin on the ground for the off-track at the moment, but the first few have all given it a maximum five stars. 
I'm not really surprised by that as the off-track has a decent spec. It's really impressively built and it was comfortable and effective when I tried one out on the roads. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Revit off-track jacket. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.